And welcome again to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round, and we're playing as the pig. And we'll go through her loadout really quick for someone who hasn't seen me play pig rounds. Uh, not ideal, but it's what we got to work with. We have Discordance, which allows us to see when a, two more than one survivor is working on the same generator. We have Hex Ruin, unfortunately only Tier 1, that will regress the generator as long as that totem's up when I can chase them off it. We have Nurses Calling Tier 3, which will let me see survivors that are being healed within a 28-meter range, and Barbecue and Chili, which lets me see survivors when they're taken off the hook. Rule set number two is one of our add-ons that disables the ability to see jigsaw boxes until the trap is activated, and Razor Wires will moderately increase the skill check trigger odds when someone does interact with the box, and we are bringing uh, Ivory Mori into this game because, well, we've run into a couple groups of... Well, let's just say groups of people playing together who, you know, are playing together with an advantage when you play together. And unfortunately, they are, uh, you know, very high rank groups playing together and dominating me. And that's fine. But have been a, a little bit more on the, uh, the cocky and egotistical and show off side about it, particularly when leaving the match or at various points in the match. So uh, usually when that happens, I get a little bit more testy and I that's when I bring a Mori in. I rarely bring Mori's because they're not very much fun, particularly for whoever it is who gets Mori'd. But we're going to bring one in just in case we can get somebody down a second time and, you know, get rid of them and lower our odds from a 4 to one, four and one team to at least a 3 against 1 team effort on their part, which will make a huge difference. Because one of the problems I have in these games I play is being able to get somebody hooked early and get somebody out of the game early or just get a lot of people hooked early before our generators are done as this Corrance has already, already gone off. So we know they're over there. Let's see if we can crouch and maybe surprise somebody. All right. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Well, Mr. we found Mr. Bill. Bill is headed, I'm sure, for a pallet. Yep. I don't know if I could have gotten him in time. I I frankly could have maybe, but I'll just uh, I'll take the I'll take the chase at this point. Okay, wow, that was nice. We faked Bill out there. Alright, Bill, let's get let's get a hat on your head. Let's get you to let's get you to play the game there, buddy. Now, the one good thing will be is that his trap are going to go this way. We know there's somebody working on this generator. Let's see if we can scare him off of it. Yep, we did. Where did they go, I wonder? Couldn't have gone terribly far. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi, Fang. Let's chase you for a little bit, shall we? Yep, we saw that. Oh, this is... I've been on this... L well... Oh, we missed him with the ambush attack. That's Meg. Hey, Meg being a little noisy over here. Oh, there's somebody different. I, I think that's... uh. That's not who we were chasing before, and that generator is done. Somebody's coming this way. And I don't think they know we're here. Yeah, I. 
Well, the bad part for Bill is his trap is now active. And that generator is going to get done, is my guess. Yep. Now that, unfortunately, over here is Bill at that jigsaw box. Yeah. They found my ruin, too. That wasn't really what I wanted to see. Well, M Bill, I hate to do this to you, my friend. <laughs> hate to do that to you, my friend, but uh, that is called... That is called a little bit of frustration born from... Uh, Facing too many groups today of well-coordinated survivors. Oh. Oh, let's get... See if we can get you into the action over here, guys. Yeah, I see you over here, Fang. All right, they're down to two generators. They also are down to three people. So what we need to do is we need to get somebody out of the game here. I just saw somebody else ducking over there. Come on, drop it. Hey, Dwighty boy. Let's get you a little injured too. All right, we know the Fang is still probably hiding over here somewhere. Maybe they're not. Uh, uh, ah! All right, they were not expecting that. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. We're gonna drop you. Hold on. Let's get. Let's put a nice little pat on your head there, Dwight. Now we'll pick you up. Now we'll get you going. All right. That's you right there next to that generator. Now, the problem we're having. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we know where our other two people are. Yeah, I can see a Fang. Now. Yeah. Which way are you taking me, Fang? I know you're taking me back to the guy on the hook. Oh, that's Claudette, actually. Hi, Claudette. Now, he's going to be a little bit occupied. My guess is working with those boxes. Claudette, there's nothing over here. This is a bit of a dead zone for you. Let's get a hat on your head. So a couple of you guys are wearing some uh, fancy hats now. And we'll just drop you over here on this hook. Right over here. All right. I know somebody's on that generator over there. Oh, no. Nope. Give this generator a kick. So we got somebody injured. Let's see, where? Oh, you're here. Oh, Fang, you shouldn't have dropped the pallet, Fang. You really shouldn't have dropped the pallet. Let's give you a hat. Everybody's wearing hats. Well, not everybody. It looks like somebody got their hat off. All right, we're going to go bring you over here. All right, this generator. This is kind of a big... This is uh, this one of the generators we want. That's actually not one of the generators we're that worried about. 
Oh, there goes Dwight. Dwight, you don't have a hat on anymore. I'm very disappointed. You don't have a hat, Dwight. I want you to have a hat. Ah, oh, let's get you a hit, though. He is, uh, he's gonna go for the rescue, it looks like. And you know what? That is... That's a bad idea. Dwight, all I can say is, buddy, you know, I would have been more than happy. Now we know the fang. Where are you at, Fang? Yep. That's not good for you, Fang. That's not good at all for you, Fang. Well, you were on that hill. Let's see if we can bring you back up to it. Put you right up here. So now, well... I was going to crouch, but there's not really need to do it at this point. Looks like Dwight headed back that way over over towards. Well, Dwight, that is, uh, that's not good news for you, my friend. Oh, yeah. We weren't expecting that, I don't think. Well, we're going to bring you, uh, we're kind enough to come to the basement for us. So we'll give you a nice spot. You get a privileged spot on the back hook. Hey, that's going to be the end of Dwight. Now we know. At least we think we know. They're both injured. They're both going to be healing. One of them is healed. They're healing each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's bad for you, Fang. That is bad news for you, I'm afraid. We didn't even need barbecue and chili with that. As soon as we put Dwight up on that hook, we kind of knew where they were. And the minute we saw one of them healed, we knew they were healing each other. So the question is, where, oh, there's Claudette. Does Claudette know where the hatch is? Is the hatch over there? Does Claudette know where the hatch is? Claudette was not on the hatch. We're going to have to... Oh, interesting. Not, what I, not where I would have expected the hatch to be. Oh, the thing is, we're just going to have to see what door she goes to. They are not very far apart. I should be able to make a pretty quick beeline from one door to the other here. All right, no progress on either one. It's gonna be tough. If you're Claudette, you gotta hide. You're going to have to hide, but at some point you're going to have to make a move. And she's made her move. Oh, she's going to get out. All right, good job by the Claudette to get out. I took a little bit too long at that other door. She had started to work on that one, I'm guessing just a little bit, and hid. I didn't really have any perks that were going to help me to find her unless she left scratch marks. 
But that's a uh, that's a pretty solid round as the pig. We absolutely will take that. A 3K, we got a chance to use the Mori, and that will go a long way towards showing that when you can get somebody out of the match early, that's uh that's a big deal. Cause that once it turned into a three on one, it was much easier for me to to keep things under control and that generator progress kind of came to a crashing halt. And we actually had a pretty a pretty decent group of survivors there. Three, a seven, two, eight ranks. And again, I I'm just gonna guess and think that they were probably part of a team. Uh, usually you'll see a lot of the same perks on team efforts. Borrow time there, deliverance there. Uh, one person with unbreakable, that was the bill who I never got a chance to get up. Um, borrow time on this person, sprint burst on this one, uh, bond on this one to go with prove thyself on the Dwight, borrow time with him as well. Uh, seeing we're going to live forever makes me wonder if he's running the, uh, the Rift Challenge where you have to be injured and get these skill checks. That would not be totally surprising there. And up here we had someone with empathy. That was the Claudette that got out. So, again, I'm, I'm thinking that there's a decent opportunity that a lot of these players were playing together. Maybe they weren't, but a lot of those perks are definitely meta perks, whether you're playing solo or you're playing as part of a group. But overall, not a bad not a bad effort on our part. We'll take the 3K and a little bit of sign of improvement on our part. And uh, we were able to end some of those chases, make a couple good moves. And when you do that, it's a much easier to get people down and to, to get them behind the eight ball a little bit. So in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please keep checking back with us for more videos, we release Dead by Daylight videos on a daily basis, usually two videos, one in the morning and then one in the evening. Thank you very much for watching, and hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next Dead by Daylight.